Harvard University School of Medicine has a division of sleep. And they did a number of studies last year that showed that poor quality sleep leads to an increase in workplace errors and a decrease in workplace productivity. Do you want to use that peak mental energy time to work on things that are difficult or things that are unpleasant? So let's just take 30 seconds and jot down for yourself what do you envision your top buckets of responsibility to be? What are you getting paid to do? And how do I plan my day so that I can focus on getting those important things done? So can anyone tell me in one or two words what makes it so challenging to be on top of things in terms of time? And so where money's involved, it's typically easy for us to zero in on the money and the things that are of value. But how many of us do that with our day? We want to find ways to make sure that we are in control of our email instead of our email controlling us. And this is probably one of the hardest time management uh, skills that people uh, have in terms of uh, implementing new habits. But it can be really a game changer in terms of the productivity of your day. The time map, for example, the control that you've got in your day-to-day -day schedule is about choice. What was most exciting, though, to hear you say, something that I hadn't thought of myself, was when you do get interrupted, to go ahead and find a way to keep your place. I loved your point on um, exercise. And I was actually speaking to one of my colleagues today about how we need to plan an exercise date every day at lunch, because if she knows, and I know she knows that I'm going to have to go, we'll do it and we'll go and then from all the good information you said about exercise is going to lead to higher cognitive ability.